Hi, I'm John Storms. What I'm going to do today is get my Falcon Pi up and running on a wireless network. So right now it's already hooked up to a regular wired Ethernet connection. Um, and this will give me a second interface. So this is a little USB Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, I think it's 802.11n. And uh, this is the one that came with the, uh, the Raspberry Pi developer, development package. Um, it's a real common one. Uh, technically it's called the RTL8188 CUS Wi-Fi adapter. Um, and this is uh, the reason why you would want to have two networks on your Raspberry Pi. And what I plan to do is that hardwired LAN connection, I'm going to put it on its own little subnet. And I'm not going to let any of my home traffic on there because it creates a lot of uh, DMX traffic. So that is going to be dedicated just for running my lights. And then this one, the wireless, I will hook up to my home network and it won't cause a lot of traffic because this is just for connecting in via the web interface or putty or whatever. So installing this is pretty easy. So I come over here to my Raspberry Pi and you can see I got these USB connections. I could plug him in. The only problem is, is that this this little Wi-Fi adapter probably consumes a little bit more power than what that US, little USB port can provide. So what I did is went to uh, Best Buy and just got myself a powered um, USB hub. Okay, which means that each one of these is a USB 2.0 port. Now I don't want to do 3.0; it's a lot more expensive, and you know the Raspberry Pi doesn't do 3.0. But these guys, this is a powered hub, so. I just slide them into there. Hard to do. Put the camera down. Okay, so now he's plugged in. Well, actually, it's the USB is connected. Now I can add, put the power cord in. And so now he's powered up. Okay, and then it has a little USB connection on the back. That where did it go? Is this him? Yep. So then I take that USB connection and I plug it into the Falcon. Not the Falcon, the, the Raspberry Pi. Okay. So I've got my um, USB hub with my wireless adapter plugged into the Raspberry Pi. So now I just plug in the Pi like that. And it's booting up, so I got uh, this hooked up to the console via the HDMI cable. And it is booting up. So all the fun stuff happens over here. Boop, 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 boop. Interesting. Okay, and it's up. So now I'll log in. Log in as FPP. Password is Falcon. Okay. And then I do if config. So I can see the interfaces. And I have three interfaces now. So I got my Ether Zero right here, which is my 10.0.0.213. That's my pixel network. This is the local loopback. Don't need to worry about him. That's home. And then WLAN doesn't have an IP address. So the next thing I need to do is go in and configure that. Okay. So here I am. I got the web interface opened up to 10.0.0.213, which is the IP address of my LAN connection, the actual hardwired connection. I go to network, and you see now I have Ethernet 0 and WLAN 0. So this basically is the IP address. This is the interface for the wireless LAN. So I want to set it up on a static IP, so I'm going to do 192. 
This is the network of the rest of the house, and I'm going to give it 213. So 10.0.0 is my pixel network, and 192.168.1 dot is my home network. And of course the net mask is all 255s. That's so basically this last octet that where the 213 is specifies the host portion. I come in here, 192.168.1.254. That is my actual gateway. And then I pick my SSID, which is listen to our lights three. And I put in the password, which I'll have to blur out. And I say update interface. Okay, restart network. Yes. Go back to the status page, network. Okay, it's still there. Now, one way I can see if it's working, I come over here, I use the ping command, ping 192.168.1.213, and it's pinging, it means it's live. Ping 10.0.0.213, and it's live on the other interface. Now that's because this, my computer here, I also have it set up so that its hardwired connection is on the 10 network and its wireless is on the 192.168. And this won't cause me any network problem. They'll keep themselves straight. Uh, let's see, where is Putty? Okay. Now, if it's not working for you, here are some things you can do to. Login as FPP. Password is Falcon. Okay. And FPP Raspberry Pi 2 1, that is that is the host name of my device. So what I can do here is I can uh, if, if if it's not working here are some things you can do. So the first thing you can do is you can see whether or not it even sees that little that little adapter. So you can run LS USB, right? List out USB interfaces. And you look to see, okay, where is it? Like right here. See, so that, so you're looking, now yours might be called something different, but this is what mine call, this is the RTL 8188C US. Okay, now the other thing we can do is we can check to see if the, uh, if the module said loaded. Okay, so we can do a list mod, ls mod, and you come in here, and where are you, where are you, where are you, here it is, see, so there's my module, it's loaded, 8192, okay, and then, you know, if that's good, then the next thing we can check is we can go back and we do that if config, I to say, and we can see what we have, what information we have for WLAN. You know, it tells you the I um, the IP address, the broadcast address, the net mask. It's running in multicast mode. What the MTU is, how many packets have come and gone. So that gives you some information about the interface itself. Okay. Um, the other thing we can do. is we can actually take a look to see if it was configured at all. So uh, we can go to Etsy network interface and then we can look at interfaces. Okay, and this shows us all the information about our interface. Okay, and so we should see information there about WLAN zero. Okay. So that's all the information I entered. So that should all be there. Now, if that still doesn't work, uh, we can go look in this file here. Okay. We just go to Etsy, WPA supplicant, and then cat WPA supplicant. Ah, I won't let you. Why? Because you're not root. So you do the command sudo cat WP. You just say sudo in first meaning. I'm the supervisor, and I really, really want to do it, and I'm taking on the risk, OK? 
Okay, and here, yeah, it's all good. Ping 192, 168. Now I'm going to try pinging from the Falcon Pi player to my gateway. Yeah, and it pings it just fine. So those are some things you can do. Um, Putty is out there on the internet. Just do a search for uh, for Putty Windows client, and it will pull right up. So that's it.